You're going to break the record oh. for most most frequent guest at this point. I think this is your this is your third time, right? Yeah, I'm all for breaking records. We're going to hook you up right? with a jacket or something yeah. like that. <laughs> well, we love having you. Thank What's you. new? What's been going on? Working on TV acting, hosting, commentating. Uh -huh. I got some cool things and projects that I'm working on. I got to oh, keep yeah. a hush hush on yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. But uh, and um, traveling around, I've been. Yeah. I had a chance to go to a Tony Robbins event. Um, right. I got a chance to bring my brother. I got a chance to take my mom to Vegas. She's never been. Right. You um, did. I got a chance to do did a lot of Did you love it? Thing. Yes. You know, the older we get, we get to realize who our parents are. That's that, great. It was neat. How's your dad doing? He's good. Yeah. He's doing really well. Appreciate you asking. He's um, he's got a big smile on his face every single day. Um, you know, we didn't have, we didn't always have the best of relationships growing up. You know, um, I always tell people I grew up with a .6 GPA, asthma, uh, fifth string running back, very lost, clueless. I had a struggle with a relationship with my father, um, but it grew closer the older I got because I started to ask myself and stop blaming him. Right. You know, it's easy to play the victim. Why ain't somebody doing this for me? Why ain't somebody doing this for me? Finally put up a mirror and <laughs> said, why am I not going to him? Right. And, um, you know, when he was in the hospital mm -hmm. um, for a length of time, I was about 26 <clears> at this point, you know, I said, Dad, I'm going to call you every single night in this hospital while you're there, and I'm going to pray with you. He was like, all right, cool. Like, he's, that's just him. And every single day, I would pray with him. And I felt us growing closer. He started opening up about some stuff. And it was one day I was out on a date, and we did about 9.30 every night. Mm -hmm. I was out on a date. It was like 9.35, 9.45. I didn't call. I forgot. I'm caught up in the date. Right. And my phone rung. I look, and it's an unknown number. I was like, oh, yeah, that's my daddy in the hospital. Right. So I excuse my dad. I said, hey, I, I'll be right back. I answered the phone, and he said, hey, Rashad, um, we going to pray? And in that moment, for, for so many years that I've been begging for that type of feeling, I felt yeah. it. I was like, man, for my dad to say that was basically saying, Rashad, I absolutely love these right. moments. And you initiated yeah. these moments, yeah. and that's you what you're saying the with door. the mirror, and you know, just don't yeah. wait for people to come to you. you have yeah, to you the open door. the door. Right. Be sometimes we sit want. and we wait for other people to open the door. Right. And sometimes we have to take that initiative, and we have to open the door. Absolutely right. And let them in.